The King is Dead. Long live the King. Here now with entertainment attorney James Walker. We had an interesting segment here with the two former mayors. Yeah, I had to cut into your time almost, yeah, you know? That's so, But uh, a year anniversary, King of Pop, Michael yeah. Jackson, dead. We'll kind of recap a bit. Uh, first of all, with the estate, the whole legacy of MJ, that was the, all the talk when he passed. How's that going? Well, besides Joe Jackson not getting paid, everybody else has made money. Yeah. You know, I think. Daddy's you know, not getting paid? Daddy's not getting paid. Daddy filed a lawsuit last week. Uh, he wasn't named in the will. And the money goes to Katherine Jackson and the children and the charities. They've made over a billion dollars. It is incredible what they've done. Yeah, and they're, and they're going to announce soon that they're going to refinance the publishing catalog. You know, okay. they were saying it was so heavily mortgaged. Yeah. My sources are telling me that they're going to refinance that to the tune of $300 million. Wow, because that was heavily uh, leveraged before, it right? It was heavily leveraged before. that regularly. But now it's worth, you know, two, three billion dollars or more. They can go out to a bank or an investment firm. Because he refinance died. Refinance the catalog and they can make the notes now. Right. And pay down some of the debt. So unfortunately, death has been good for the estate, I mean, for his family. You don't see the brothers on uh, A&E anymore with their uh, show. <laughs> they canceled their show, so they must be making money. So how does dad get paid? Dad just gets cut out of the whole will? Dad no love for it, dad? Dad played it wrong from the beginning when he went on TV a year ago and started talking about how he was going to form a record label and make all this money, he and the guy from the Shy Lights. I think if dad had laid low mm -hmm. and just showed, hey, I'm sad to have lost my son. I think there would have been some sympathy for him, and then the mother could have said, hey, come in here, we'll take care of you. But he's out there blaming the mother on some shows, blaming the handlers, blaming the lawyer. He's blaming everybody. He even sued Conrad Muhammad, the doctor, a few uh, weeks ago. Conrad Murray. Conrad Murray, right, I mean, he sued right. Conrad Murray. He sued the doctor for, uh, I guess, a wrongful death. Well, speaking of the doctor now, he's in a bit of hot water, right? He's been uh, charged. and. What's the future hole there? He's laying low. And well, they just announced that he can still practice. Even mm -hmm. though he's been charged, the Superior Court judge who's handling everything said he hasn't been found guilty. So he's still able. I mean, who, who would probably hire him is probably a different question, right. but he's, uh, he's still going on. He's still maintaining his innocence. So from a family standpoint, no reunion talk anymore. Just go ahead with the catalog, regurgitate, repackage, and just keep the memorabilia, the T-shirts, keep they're that gonna, rolling. It, they're following the Elvis model, as you know. Right. Elvis died. They make all these memorabilia licensing tours, memorabilia albums. They have a ten-album deal with Sony that's going to pay them two hundred fifty million dollars alone. Wow. Not even into the licensing. The movie. Just the repackage. Just, just repackage. the repackage. They're going to re-release off the wall. The album mm. that we all grew up on not, in the late seventies. Right? They're going to re-release it. and They'll probably add never heard of you know, footage or never heard of songs. Good idea. Oh, great idea. Great idea. And what happens is mom gets the 20, 30, 40 percent. She then calls the kids in the room and everybody eats. Everybody gets paid. Everybody right? gets paid. All right, let's segue now. Karate Kid 3, Will Smith's kid is making his debut in, the, in a retake of a popular movie. Great, How's that going? Great movie. My son is a red belt. My youngest son, Zion, and I took him to see the movie. And we were both there cheering. We just didn't move at all. I mean, it is a great movie. They use China as the backdrop. Okay. And they really, really bring you there in terms of a cultural experience. He plays a black kid in China getting bullied, which is an interesting twist. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Jackie Chan comes in uh, to teach him karate. And yeah. by the end of the movie, we know the story. Now, how much of this was a hookup for Will Smith and how much of this is that his son can indeed act? Because we all know Will Smith is worth box office, so sure. are they simply hooking his kid up well, or can the kid act? The kid can definitely act because the movie took a lot out of him to do those kind of karate moves. Having a son in karate, those moves were not simple. And I asked my son afterwards, who will be a black belt probably in six, nine months, can you really do that stuff? And he told me, Dad, that's, that's the truth. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. All right. And um, it's an equation there. you got the power of Will Smith, the power of Jackie Chan, the power of the brand the Karate Kid brand. And those three things just came together like a pyramid. I think the movie did almost 60 million opening weekend. Wow. Almost 60 million. Nobody saw it. And it's kind of quiet. There isn't a lot of buzz about it, but it is a great family movie, very clean, mm -hmm. and kind of reminds you of the uh, 80s throwback period where you could go to a movie with all your kids and not have to worry about language. It becomes a new brand, though, right? The Karate Kid now becomes like a Rocky brand and a Lethal Weapon brand. I mean, families will go out there to see it over and over again because, of, as you say, you know how it's going to end up, right? But right. people like seeing sort of the whole Smith. And Will Smith's production company, Overbrook Entertainment, mm -hmm. they're a big player in this. They were the ones, I think, who funded some of the movie or had a partnership with, I think, Lionsgate, I believe. But uh, they're a major player behind this movie, so they're going to obviously see in the box office receipts and DVDs. All right, so from the movies now, we go to the stage. Denzel Washington getting a Tony. Yeah. Talk about that. I was proud. Spreading was proud. his wings a little bit. What's Denzel? Talk to us about it. It kind of got overshadowed. You know, the Lakers were playing that night in their final games and stuff, so Denzel was winning a Tony Award on the other channel. So people were going back and forth. For, uh, 
for fences. For fences, right? Yes, fences is a story about a man who tries to steer his kid away from getting a August football Wilson, scholarship. Right? August Wilson's great play, the late August Wilson, a great uh, playwright from Broadway, and Denzel wins his first Tony. And you say, like, what can't this guy do? You know, the Oscar, the Tony, I mean, just everything is wonderful. And the play is actually really good. Um, Viola Davis, I believe, the co-star. Okay. The co-star, she got leading actress. The play also won another award for best revival of an old play. And, uh, and it was just a proud moment as an African-American to see Denzel win a Tony. When you think about it, though, winning a Tony on stage, these guys who are great actors on the big screen, on the silver screen, mm -hmm. have to have those serious acting chops. So it shouldn't come as any surprise that a guy who wins an Oscar on the big screen can win a Tony on stage, right? Well, how many African-Americans have done it, though? Mm -hmm. and, how, and how many uh, major Hollywood A-list actors have done it? I couldn't see Tom Cruise doing it. That's a good point. You know, and the, and the draw is selling out. And they say when Denzel walks out at the end of the night, but that, there's a whole crowd of fans waiting on Broadway just to meet him. But point well taken. But that separates the real top actors from others. You're saying it's really not done a whole lot, if yeah. at all. So it tells you that when you can win a Tony and an Oscar, you, you get can really serious act. acting And shots. one thing I want to point out, too, Denzel Washington does not get enough credit you know, in terms of what he has accomplished for so many years. I mean, you're going back to Glory, Malcolm X, Training Day, and so on and so on. I mean, Mo Better Blue is one of my favorite uh, movies as a musician. But it's just, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. It's like a quiet little thing, but this guy is a major actor, probably no, top 5'10 so, yeah, of the time. Someone gets his, gets his props. You, think, you don't think so? No, no, he doesn't get it. Okay. He doesn't get I would, when you think, you know, Marlon Brando, Clark Gable, oh, he, Denzel. He, he there. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, what, what hasn't he done? All right, we got to run. We're going to cut you back. You're one of our when we come back, a little sports chatter with WTIC AM sportscaster Scott Gray. Is it time to break up the Celtics? And where will LeBron James end up? Don't even think about going away.